all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. Let's examine problem 2-3A, a problem that has us uh, preparing a schedule of cost of goods manufactured, a schedule of cost of goods sold, and an income statement. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the, the question says, Outdoor Supplies manufactures gear for hunting and camping. The company shows the following data related to its December 31st, 2017 fiscal year. And, and then a big long list of just items, just like a laundry list. And it asks us to prepare those three schedules I had mentioned. So let's start with a title. And we're going to start, of course, with this first one, the schedule of cost of goods manufactured. We'll start with the title, name of the company, Outdoor Supplies. name of the statement that we're going to prepare, which is a schedule of cost of goods manufactured and a date. And this is for the year ended. December 31st, 2017. Okay, so we've got ourselves a beautiful title, but let's remind ourselves what we're doing on our schedule of cost of goods manufactured. We're computing the cost of the stuff that we manufacture, the cost of goods manufactured, just like the name sounds. And we remember that the cost, the manufacturing cost of any goods is the cost of the material, the labor, and the overhead. So we're just going to summarize those manufacturing costs. So let's look at all of the costs related to raw materials here. So the cost related to material is this beginning raw materials inventory, there's ending raw materials inventory, and then there's purchases of raw materials inventory. Now, if we didn't have any inventory, this would be simple. We'd just say, oh, well, what we purchased, that's the cost of our raw materials. But because we can have inventory left over and we might've had some left over from last year when we started this year, there's this little computation. And it's one that we've seen before and one that we'll see again. We start with our beginning raw materials inventory. So our January 1st inventory of $14,000, that's our starting point. So the heading here is for direct materials. And again, our starting point is our raw materials inventory on January 1st, 2017. And our raw materials inventory was, I believe, 14,000. We're going to add purchases of raw materials. So 14,000 was our beginning inventory. Purchases of raw materials was 425. 14 plus 425 is 439. And so let's think about what this means. I had 14,000 in uh, inventory to begin the year. I bought 425 grand more, meaning the maximum amount I could have used this year was 439. Just what I had to begin with plus what I purchased. We call this raw materials inventory available for use. RM available for use. Uh, then we deduct our ending inventory. And you might say, well, why do I deduct ending inventory? So deduct raw materials, December 31st, 2017. So why do I deduct this? Well, because it wasn't used, right? We're interested in the raw materials that we actually used in manufacturing our goods. This is the cost of goods that we made. Well, if I have a bunch of like, uh, what are we? We're an outdoor supplies company. If I have a bunch of raw materials sitting around uh, that haven't been used yet, well, I didn't manufacture anything with them. So they shouldn't be included in the cost of the goods I manufactured. So let's scroll up and figure out what our ending inventory was. It was 17,000. We deduct that amount. We say 439 minus 17 
that's 422 oops this is a key total it goes on the right 422,000 this is our raw materials inventory used in production 420 grand in raw materials was used let's move on to direct labor remembering that the cost of any product is the material plus the labor plus the overhead so we got the material I can see the labor it's just a lone line item let me change my highlighter color I'll make it nice blue there it is there's our labor 275 you might say well what about the factory supervisors wages well if they're in a true supervisory role they don't have their hands on their products they would be an in indirect labor uh, so it's just the direct labor 275 on to manufacturing overhead moh manufacturing overhead and we want to go up to our chart and list out all of the indirect factory costs so for indirect factory costs, we have factory supervisor's wages, which are $64,000. Company president salary, that's not a factory cost at all. That's an admin cost. Uh, depreciation, and it's 60% factory. So 60% of $240,000, I think that's $144,000. $144K is factory. Uh, the 40% that's office, well, let's see, 80, uh, uh, what is it, 96,000, I guess. <laughs> is an office expense, we would call that an administrative cost. Uh, so the 144K that relates to the factory, though, that is absolutely a manufacturing overhead cost. Uh, property tax is 80% factory, so 16 grand factory and 20% office, so 4K office. Well, again, I want to highlight in purple all the stuff that is overhead costs, and that's all the costs related to the factory. Sales commissions, those are not a factory cost at all. Uh, those are a selling cost. Repairs and maintenance, it's 100% related to the factory, so 15 grand all goes to overhead. Utilities expense, 90% factory, 10% office, so 90% of 30 grand is 27 grand going to the factory, and 3 grand going to the office, and the, 90, uh, the 27 grand uh, is, of course, an overhead cost. Uh, sales revenue, no, that's not even a cost, that's a, a revenue, and advertising is selling. So uh, those are our overhead costs. They're highlighted in purple. So let's go down the line and see what we can do with that information. A factory supervisor's wages, 64 grand. Uh, depreciation 144 grand in the factory property taxes 16 grand relate to the factory whoa property taxes 16,000 in the factory uh, repairs and maintenance, 15000 in the factory. And utilities, 27000 in the factory. So when we add up this list, 64 oh what happened there so 
64 plus 144 plus 16 plus 15 plus 27, I get $266,000. in overhead costs total manufacturing overhead now remember the total manufacturing cost is the material plus the labor plus the overhead all summed up so 422 plus 275 plus 1000. Now, as we discussed in um uh, 10 dash or not 10, 2 dash 2a when we work through that problem, we're not done yet, right? We've still got more to do. Uh, we've got to deal with work and process. And just like we did with beginning inventory, we add, with raw materials inventory, pardon me, we add beginning inventory, we deduct ending inventory. So let's do that for whip. We're going to add beginning whip and we're going to deduct ending whip. So we add whip inventory from January 1st 2017 and that amount was $31,000 we subtotal here 994 and we deduct whip inventory from December 31st 2017 uh, our ending whip inventory amount was $20,000. So the end of the line here, cost of goods manufactured was $974,000. This isn't like uh, in, in financial accounting when we get like a balance sheet and we can balance and know we got it right. We just have to do it right, uh, but there's no sort of double check at the bottom here. So the cost of the stuff that we made was 974 grand, dollar sign at the top of each column and by the bottom line of the statement. Okay, we're going to stop the video here. In the next video, we're going to prepare a uh, schedule of cost of goods sold and an income statement. Stay tuned.